our memorial. We remember what was done. And we praise God for what he has already what? Can y'all understand that? This priest was saying, I'm waiting for the consolation. The consolation is for the comfort of Israel. Because Israel was going through some stuff. Herod was wreaking havoc. The Roman powers was not allowing them to realize their place in Jesus Christ. Have you ever had some stuff stopping you from realizing what God said about you? God said you the head and not the tail. But then you sitting around here can't hardly rub two nickels together. Then that means that there's something stopping this thing here. Then you ought to know that the comforter is coming. Don't give up. Don't give in. Confess that thing. Live that thing. Prove that thing. See the power of God. No matter what you have done, no matter what you have not done, Jesus is still coming. Wait for the consolation. Waiting for Christmas. Waiting for Christ to be revealed. What I love about this a point here that the Holy Ghost moved. And I keep doing like this. And the reason is, in my mind, I think he's walking. And maybe he's walking a little slow. Then the Holy Ghost push him. <laughs> you ever been like that? <laughs> push him. They say, go faster, boy. Go faster. Because I think that's what we do sometimes. We're so much in our self and so much in our flesh that we don't recognize that God is still in control. God's still timetable in this thing here. We act like we can't take it. We act like we can't endure it no longer. We act like we're going to get ready to just quit and go home. I encourage you right now to wait on your Christmas. Wait on the revealing of Christ. Wait on the comforter. The comforter is what? Coming. It's been 40 days. It's time is now complete. Your time is complete. You've already had your new life. But here comes this baby. And I think about it like this. That mother coming there with that swaddling baby. She know what she said. Her and Joseph had not been together. And she just wide-eyed, don't know what to do. The Holy Spirit then told her about this baby. And, and she's just trying to follow the law. Amen. She got him circumcised. And now she's trying to present him. And as soon as she goes into the temple, here comes this priest. And this priest goes up to her. And I don't believe Sister Harmon. I don't believe he had no decorum at all. I believe he went up there and took that baby and said, my eyes have seen the consolation of Israel. And I believe because Mary knew what was going on, she just stood back, not knowing what was going to happen. Why? Because this child that was given, this gift that was given, amen, was not just for Mary, but he was for the whole world. And I love what he did here. The Bible says he lifted that child up. Come on, have you ever lifted up Jesus? If you got a problem at home, you want to lift him up. Sometimes you got to get a crazy praise. Sometimes you got to look around and say, you know what? Amen. I'm about to run out of gas. But I know how to not run out of gas. And I'm encouraging you to try it. I'm going to get out of my car and I'm going to shout right around this car. And I believe God going to give me enough gas to make it to the gas station. Y'all laugh and I dare you to try it. I bet won't nobody run out of gas if you say the light coming on and you say, I'm going to try what they say. I'm going to get out and I'm going to dance. Amen. All around this car. And then I'm going to make it. Why? Because God is that kind of a God. He's not going to reject your praise. He's not going to reject what you need. You need a job? Call on Jesus. You need comfort? Call on Jesus. You need deliverance? Call on Jesus. You need deliverance? You need power? It is time right now. He's coming into the temple today. All you got 